Yeah, and say that. Yeah. And, and the email. Yeah, they called me after I received the email to give me the heads up that the letter was on its way. I believe the next day I received the letter. Okay, we're ready, Mr. Pena? Yes. Okay, good evening, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the City of West Miami Planning and Zoning Board of July um, 6, 2021. Uh, members present are Diana Rio. Here. And uh, also present is Natalie Milan, or Milian, our newest member. Myself, Joe Paz. Uh, chairperson. Also present is Juan Pena, Pub Planning and Zoning Director, and also Ineris. Um, Your city clerk. Aneri, our city clerk, is here today. And before we begin the actual meeting, we need to uh, be sworn in because our terms um, commence uh, from new, and we have a new member. So, Mrs. Clerk. Yes, uh, good evening. Uh, we wanna, uh, we want, would like to proceed by uh, determining the terms of your appointments and your membership by lot, which means you're gonna take a number, I mean, not a number, you're gonna take one of those- um, um, Folded papers. Folded papers on this container, and that will, that will uh, determine your term as a member of the planning and zoning board, and then after that, we'll, you'll be sworn in uh, by me, by my office, uh, with the term that that it, I mean that is determined this uh, this evening. So, if you would like, please let's um, let's proceed with determining the terms by lot, as as if I, I mean uh, recommended at. Uh, at the commission level. So please, uh, let's proceed. So please. Okay. Like I'll, 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 I'll let you, I'll go here. before me. Excuse me, for the record. <laughs> For the record, uh, board member uh, Eugenio Gonzalez is now present. I'm sorry, Alvaro Lurido. Alvaro Lurido. We're gonna proceed first determining the law, uh, the the terms of your membership to the planning and zoning board. After that, you'll be sworn in. We're gonna do it by alphabetical order, starting with. Let me see. I think you are the first one. So, uh, by last name. So it's gonna be Laurido, Milian, Paz. Rio, okay. So after that, yes. When I say, okay, you can proceed. Do it now. Open it. This one to the public and to us. We're gonna serve a term of three years. Okay. Keep it with you, please. Yeah. Okay. Next will be Maria. Yes, please. And let me get me 
Lauridos O's, okay? And the plumita, okay. Okay, that was interesting. That's why I only got number two. I have to do it in the next two years. Not that nice. Yeah, no, it's okay, okay. because I have to. Oh, and this one says for Mr. Villalobos. <laughs> I think it's the same thing. It just has a different, a different name. You may proceed with your meeting. Okay, Mr. Pena. Again, just for the record, the appointments that you have this evening do not have term limits per the ordinance, so you may be reappointed next year when it comes up for, like, Mr. Paz, or in three years when it comes up for the other members, or in two years when it comes up for the other member. Okay, thank you. You're going to sign those down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll sign okay. now. You, you may proceed with the meeting. Okay. I'll, I'll sign. Uh, um, on your agenda tonight, the approval of the minutes from 427. Uh, if you could defer those, they're not ready. Okay. And just for the record, Ms. Pena, uh, the minutes from the March 23rd, 2021 uh, meeting also have been deferred. Correct. We, we deferred those on the prior meeting. Correct. Those two will come Our together. Pending. Okay. Uh, under old business, you still have variance hearing agenda item number one, which is Gabriela de la Cruz, 1450 Southwest 58th Avenue, where the applicant is requesting a variance to build an addition to the house in the front zone setback of the property by adding a bedroom and a closet to the existing house. The house faces Southwest 58th Avenue side, and the side setback in, is the front of the house with, of the property. The applicant is encumbering 10 feet of the 25 feet of the front setback of the property within the addition. 
you have at, had asked her to submit additional details of the of the interior of the house to see how it would work with the addition she has done that tonight and she's in the audience if you need to ask her any questions Ms. De La Cruz, if you could please take the podium okay. and your name and address for the record. Absolutely. Hi. Gabriela De La Cruz, 1450 Southwest 50th Avenue. So as mentioned, I am an old item from the April meeting. Um, I have provided you with about six pages of blueprints um, indicating again what the construction I believe on yours they are highlighted to indicate what is considered the new construction yes I'm a little bit are. of a nerd so I made sure it was color coordinated and everything for you guys to easily see um, I believe the question on the last meeting was whether or not it could be moved on to the other side print two out of six I think clearly indicates um, where the construction proposed on the to our left side of the plans makes the most sense as the right side of the house would be considered the dining and garage area so that's the extent of where the variance will be okay thank you of course. and this is a public hearing mr pena correct yes and all the properties in the immediate area were notified that's correct mm -hmm. 500 radius feet Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up the public hearing. Should anybody from the public other than the applicant wish to speak, um, please approach the podium. Okay, the public hearing is now closed. For the record, uh, nobody from the public opted to speak on this matter. So any comments from the board? I'd like to thank you. Um, Ms. Uh, de la Cruz yeah. um, for providing us with complete information that's of clear to see and very easy to understand. So I appreciate that. I Absolutely. remember I was the one asking for it, but yes. I <laughs> appreciate um, you doing this for us. Yeah, thank I you. know this paints obviously the visual that you were, were asking of course, for. So. Of course, thank you. And I want to say I want to thank you also for the letter you sent both I myself know it's a little outdated and Mr. Ben. It was not necessary. I'm sorry. Congratulations uh, on your new appointment. Are not I was not anticipating for us to be here today this um, late. So please yes. don't worry about that. <laughs> apologies not uh, required. Okay. That being said, so the city I staff is recommending approval with conditions okay, windows intact. so I will note it hasn't been asked but I will note that I also have um, a few pictures of properties in the neighborhood that are also corner properties that have less of a variance of what I'm requesting so I know I'm not okay. asking for that much, um, <laughs> but there are other pictures that I have here with me today that I can circulate for you to show that I'm obviously not the only property requesting this. If okay, I don't think we really need to see that unless uh, another board member wishes to peruse the photographs. We take your word, Mrs. <laughs> I'm an auditor, so I have paper <laughs> trails of everything. <laughs> Any comments from the board? No. Are you familiar with the conditions um, for the staff report? I have not since the, the request for this uh, approval was made during the initial plans. So we're happy to hear it. My contractor is here with me. So I'm sure basically the, the, the request is that all the windows be impact yes. on the house. Absolutely. The uh, first floor uh, uh, front door will be impact. Yep. And the uh, cement tile roofs to match the existing house. Yes. Yep, that's all a part of our plan. Okay. Great. Okay. I'd, I'd like to make a motion to approve with the conditions as noted on the report. And I'd like to second that. Okay, on the motion, Natalia Milian. Um, I. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Or I vote yes. Okay, that's a yes. <laughs> um, Diana Rio? Yes. Uh, uh, Alvaro Lurido? Yes. And I vote yes. So it's been approved, Mrs. Delacruz. Thank you, Thank everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Next item on the agenda, the new business, variance hearing 
Agenda item number two, Karina Fernandez, 5757 Southwest 13th Street. Applicant is requesting a variance to build a utility room within the required 15 feet exterior side setback of the property. The addition of the utility room, if allowed, would be on the side setback at a given point of six feet to the exterior side property line where 15 feet is required. The property is a standalone lot in front and the front of the house is on the south side of the lot of the of the lot dimension. There's a large set of plans there, so Mr. Paz, if you could share with Ms. Milian and Mr. Laurido with Ms. Rio. Basically there now there is an existing utility shed that she would like to remove and replace with a permanent addition. Ms. Fernandez, if you could approach. Your name and address for the record. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Karina Fernandez. I'm at 5757 Southwest 13th Street. Basically, this is the house on a lot by itself, one block by itself. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's no one around me. I would have to cross street all the way through. I've always liked that house. Well, you like that, it? That's a beautiful property. I'm familiar Thank you. With it. Well, I'm trying to improve it. Yeah. I have an 87-year-old mom moving in, so. How old is mm. Okay. How old is the tower? Mr. Chairman, I have a question. According to the recommendations of uh, Mr. Peña, they recommend that the cement tile roof will be matching the existing one. Some of these tiles are no longer available. I wonder if you guys check that on. That I'm is, going, I'm well, that. let me explain to you. The back is a tongue and groove. There's no tile whatsoever. It's a flat roof completely. Okay, so that part of the house is flat? It's flat, completely okay. flat. Oh, okay. It's a tongue and groove roof. That's all it is. Yeah, it so is we're going to extend it. Right. If, it's, okay. if I'm allowed, we're going to extend it. All so right. I could put the washer and dryer there so my mother could go with her walker from we'll the kitchen to the little dinette. We will re uh, remove that uh, request. Okay. Thank you. Yes, the plans do depict on the second page a flat roof. And this is a public hearing. And yes, also. And again, all the um, adjacent properties were notified of the meeting. 500 radius feet. Thank you. The public uh, hearing is now open. If you wish to speak on this matter, please approach the podium. Okay, the public hearing is now closed. For the record, uh, no members from the public chose to speak on this uh, matter, aside from the applicant. Any comments from the board? Sure, sure. Um, are there elevations of the proposed additions that I'm missing that I'm not seeing in the plans? Maybe I'm missing a sheet? Okay, I have my dental contractor here so he could actually tell you. My name is Israel Alvarez from Motion Construction. Because the elevations are on the main plans. There's, this is a revision to the main plan because basically all it is is just level to existing. The floor is gonna match existing, 
so she could wheel herself into the laundry room area. On both of the storage? Uh, the no, there's only one storage. The other one is, the, is her handicapped bathroom that we're building now. Is that storage on both? Oh, addition. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I it's a handicapped bathroom. Okay. We had to build it so she could go straight from the wheelchair straight into the shower. And that you said is under construction currently. Oh, it's already up. Okay. The, addition, by, the addition to the, on the other side is up. Right. Okay. Because we tried to get her to go through the kitchen to the laundry room. She doesn't fit. The wheelchair or the walker won't fit. So she decided we're going to make it so she could. She wants to be, you know, she wants to do her things herself. So. Right. Right. Be independent. She's 87. She's really strong, but she is on a walker. And we're just getting ready for eventually, I'm pretty sure she's going to be in a wheelchair. So we got in the bathroom ready, everything nice and level and everything. So everything's going to match existing. But on the exterior, I'm just looking, if I'm looking at these uh, floor plan, these are, these do not have windows. There's one there's, area that has there's, one window. There's, there, there's two windows. Okay, I see They're one. both impact windows. The house is completely impact windows. Okay. The two windows that we took off from the west side of the property are the same two windows that are going to go on the east side of the property. Okay. And those windows are impact? Yes. yes. Every single opening in the house is impact. Impact doors, impact windows, everything. There's not going to be any exterior doors no, on that, No, no exterior doors. Okay. The exterior door that's there now is going to be the door coming into the... From the interior of the, the house. Right. right. Okay, just two windows on the exterior, that's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. We understand? It's flashing. You're saying that the roof on the back is going to be flat? It's completely flat. Okay. It's got uh, three by eights flat. Okay. There's partial of the roof already there. It's just continuing. Okay. Any further comments? Or? It is a beautiful uh, property, so everything seems to be according to code. So I make a motion to approve it as presented to us. Okay, there is a motion. I, I second that motion. Okay, there is a motion and a second to approve. On the motion, uh, Natalia Melian? Yes. Diana Rio? Yes. Alvaro Lurido? Yes. And I vote yes, so it's been approved. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank for you. attending. Thank you. Thank you. And that is the last item in your agenda tonight, aside from uh, Mr. Eugenio uh, Gonzalez, who will have the other two-year term, uh, just for the record. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Pena. Any further comments? Motion to adjourn? Well, we don't need a motion to adjourn. <laughs> The City of West Miami, uh, West Miami Planning and Zoning Board meeting of July 6, 2021 it is now adjourned. It is 7.56 p.m. for the record.
Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.